Welcome back YouTube, we have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm going to show you the most exciting hidden shortcuts and gestures that you can do on your iPhone to save yourself some steps and I know a lot of iOS users will be interested in these kind of things because iOS unlike any other operating system has a lot of hidden gestures and shortcuts that can make your life a lot easier and I'm going to show them to you on my iPhone 11 Pro Max with iOS 13.5.1 and I hope they will add any value to you. So let me show you what I have here. But before getting started, let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. So let's jump in. Now let's start with the clock app. When you open the clock app and then go to timer, here you have the hours, minutes, and seconds as you would expect. And here you have another menu called when timer ends. And when you tap on it, you will get a, a long list of sounds to choose from. And at the bottom, you have something called the stop playing. When you tap on it and then tap on set and then start your timer, if you have any media playing on the phone, it will stop automatically when the timer ends. So as you see here, the media stopped automatically and that applies to any application playing media either it's a native app or a third party app next the calculator app when you open the app and then type any number and you think you did a mistake you can swipe either side to delete one number from the right unfortunately it doesn't allow you to put the cursor where you want but you can keep swiping until you reach the spot you want and if you did any kind of calculation like this one for example you can uh, copy the results from the home screen by tapping and holding on the calculator icon and then tap on copy last result and then you can paste it anywhere. Next, the photos app. When you are in the gallery and you want to go to the very beginning, you can tap on this area at the top and it will take you to the very beginning of your gallery. And if you want to go back to the bottom, you can tap on the photos icon. And that applies also to the days and months and also years exactly the same thing and if you want to rotate an image temporarily you can open the image and then with two fingers you can rotate the image to take a look at it in a different angle and when you release your finger it will be back to normal next the camera if you are in the photo mode and you want to record the video you can tap and hold on the shutter key and if you want to continue recording a video you can drag your shutter key on top of the lock on the right side and it will keep recording but keep in mind that this way will only record the videos in 1920 by 1440 resolution it doesn't support 4k even if you have your phone set to 4k recording like this one it will still record in this resolution and the second gesture you have if you want to take a burst shot you can drag the shutter key towards the left side and it will keep counting and once you release your finger the burst shot will be saved in the gallery as you see here 26 photos next the mail app if you are in the mail app and the tap and hold on the compose button you will get a quick access to your drafts so you can continue writing your emails and if you did any action by mistake for example you deleted an email and you want to return back you can shake the phone and it will give you the undo action here it says undo trash and when you tap on undo the email will be back again next safari and that's when things will get a little bit more interesting because it has a lot of hidden shortcuts and gestures that can make your life easier and the first one if you scroll down in a very long web page like this one and you want to jump back towards the top quickly you can double tap on the top area and it will take you back to the very top of the page next if you want to check your browsing history in this tab you can tap and hold on the back button and it will show you the websites you visited in this tab and you can quickly jump to a specific one from the list or the same behavior happens with the forward so if I'm going to tap on it, it's going to take me to the next page straight away. And the third one, if you want to quickly select text, you can double tap and then drag your finger quickly. It will select all the text you want, so you can paste it anywhere. And if you want to go back, you still have another gesture by swiping from the edge of the screen. You can go back and swipe from the other edge. It will take you forward like this. Here's forward and here is backward next if you tap and hold on the taps icon you will have quick actions here like close all 19 taps close this tap or create a new private tap or just a normal tap 
or cancel. And when you tap and hold on bookmarks icon, you have here also the ability to add bookmark, add bookmarks for all the 19 tabs you have open or add to reading list to get back to it later. And again, you can cancel. And if you want to request the desktop website for this page, you can tap on the little icon here in the address bar and then tap on request desktop website. And here you go, you have the desktop version. And if you want to return back, you will do the same thing, but request mobile website and it will be back to the mobile version. Next, if you want to find text in the page that you are currently on, you can tap on the address bar and then delete everything and then type the word you want to search for. So in this case, I'm gonna type the word Android. And when I scroll down, I will see here on this page and it says here, find Android. And when I tap on find Android, it will take me straight away to the matches and I can jump between them. And if you want to quickly copy a URL, you, all you need to do is to tap and hold on the address bar and then you will get the option to copy. Or if you already have a link uh, copied to your clipboard, you can tap on paste and go, it will copy it and go to the website. But if you have text copied to the clipboard, for example, like the word today and I'm gonna hit copy and then tap and hold on the address bar. Here it says paste and search instead. And when I tap on paste and search, it will search in your default search engine. Next, the ability to use two fingers to do certain actions. And the first one here, if you are zoomed in all the way in your web page and you want to quickly get back to normal, double tap with two fingers will give you, will get you back to normal. And if you have a link that you want to open in a new tab, you can tap it with two fingers as well. So it will be opened in a new tab. Next, the tabs view page. In this page, you can do three helpful things. First, if you closed any tab by mistake, you can get it back by tapping and holding on the plus sign, and then you will see it on the top of the list. So you can reopen it again. And the second thing you can do, you can reorganize your tabs by tapping and holding on any of them and then move it up or down based on what you need. And the third uh, helpful thing you can do is you can search through your tabs. So for example, when you go to the very top and then give it another swipe down, you will have the search bar so you can search for the name of the website you want to get its tab. And in this case, I'm typing GSM Arena and I can jump to it straight away. Next, the home screen. And here I'm gonna show you a couple of tips to help you organize your home screen better. And the first one, if you tap and hold and wait a few seconds until you activate the wiggle mode and then hold any of the icons. If you want to move it to a different home screen or a different page, you can use your other finger to keep swiping through your pages and then release it in the spot you want. So again here, I'm holding the icon and then I'm swiping with the other finger. And the other thing you can do if you want to move more than one icon at the same time, you can hold any of them and then tap on the other icons and they will be moved in the same order you tapped on them. So if I'm gonna release them here, all the four icons will be organized the same way I tapped on them. And finally, if you have a folder with apps and these apps have notifications pending, you can tap and hold on the folder and then you can quickly jump to the notifications straight away without the need to open the folder first and then tap on the application and then open the notifications. So that's pretty much it. Those are the most exciting hidden shortcuts and gestures and I managed to get my hands on in my opinion. So please let me know in the comments what do you think and let me know also if you have any more hidden gestures that I missed in this video so I can include them in my future videos. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my video and if you do please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.